gas field free. We are gas field free. We won our battle for Bentley. We won our battle for this um, area itself. Um, we do know that it is just a suspension at the moment, but we feel really confident that under community support, Northern Rivers, um, they won't come here. I was up at Gate A and it was a fairly quiet morning that morning, only about 30 of us around, maybe more, but about 30 around the fire just as the dawn was coming. It was a bit of a sombre moment. And my phone went off and I was quite embarrassed that I'd forgotten to turn the rotten thing off, so it went jangle, jangle, jangle. And then I flipped it open and saw that it was Ros Irwin, who's a former mayor of Lismore, and she was one of the delegation that went to Sydney. I opened my phone and she said, uh, it's Ros here, so I put her on speakerphone and held up my phone to the meeting. And they stopped and listened and there was just an amazing silence because it just couldn't, it took a while to sink in. I was just getting dressed and, and my neighbour, Jen, said, are you in there, are you in there? We've won, we've won, we've won. So I cancelled work and came straight here. <laughs> By 10 o'clock, my face was very sore down there from too much smiling and laughing. <laughs> so on Thursday, we were elated with the news, but we also, it's like a roller coaster ride because it was like, oh, they're not coming. Oh. This has been a really hard journey. You all need to take care of each other now because we haven't had that climax. There's a lot of people who are a little bit stressed out, a little bit in shock, and the camp's going to close and everyone's going to go home. Since last Thursday when the wonderful news was had that the licences were suspended, um, we've gone into our bump-out mode. So we've had numerous dozens of meetings on how to pull down a site of this size and pull it down... Um, with the awareness that people are going to find it difficult to let go. It could have been bad that we would be dismantling the camp having lost, which would have been extremely difficult. But it's almost as difficult dismantling the camp having won, because many people are very attached to that winning and to the moment of euphoria and to the positivity, the communication with everybody else, the sense of meaning, the sense of purpose, the fact that a lot of our needs were being looked after by many other people around here, toilets, water, food, all sorts of things. So you could see that some people who didn't have a lot else to do were really struggling with the fact that this is over, it's great, we now have to go. Just think for a minute right now of something that you like to do. Maybe something you haven't been getting the time to do that you can now begin doing again. A shower. A shower! <laughs> On Monday, we thought the cops were going to pull it all out. On Monday, we started pulling it all out. It seemed a little bit sad, actually. We had missed out on seeing the big crowd that was going to come. We missed out on seeing how much trouble the cops were going to have with our facilities, and that was going to be extremely interesting. <laughs> we were here about seven weeks into the protectors' camp being built, so it started with a couple of cars, and then it built from there. And out of that, we built ourselves a little uh, village. See, they're all waving. Yeah. Look, even up on the top, look, he's waving. Oh, the players. musicians down here. That was way back at the beginning, look. Mm, just starting off. Yeah. I've been out here for about five weeks, yeah. six weeks. I came up from um, from Adelaide to live on my own in Danoon, and uh, my daughter said, "Hey, you ought to go out to Bentley." It was full with um, cushions in it so you can lay down properly. But there'd be one person here, like that. And the other person would be done the same thing, and the way they get a toilet, they'd go upside down or something like that. Pretty much a lock on the place. And they have to dig you out to stop the. Because um, every hour it costs them, the companies a million dollars. It slows them down, and eventually, if they get, if they get through, we, we block every truck and all that. On the ground, it's just been hundreds and hundreds of people taking over their particular niche and their particular piece of expertise, which is you know, an extraordinary thing for me to see. Because we've had certain, certainly key people that have been doing certain aspects, but when the blockade got going, we just had people coming to the place, hanging around for a bit, seeing what they could do, and then they just pitched in and did it. It was just the most miraculous thing. We come from all different backgrounds here. There are people that, that wouldn't normally relate to me and I wouldn't normally relate to them, but we meet at the point of uh, clean water and fresh air. Shane will collect the hand on Wednesday. It says here. Oh, good. Well, it's Thursday. 
Yeah, I think you could possibly we'll means Wednesday next week. Ah. Uh, we'll give him a call. Well, I reckon it should be turned around the other way and just go up you, Matasco. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> the owner, Mr Scarabalotti, has been completely clear from the beginning that he wanted us here for as long as it took, but then we had to go. It's no, there's no doubt about it. So we have to do that. And we have to honour him because we're very, very thankful for what he did. And we're now flat out making sure that we get every skerrick off this place. Because I'm well aware that he has cattle on here, and even tiny skerricks of metal or plastic can go into their gut and injure them, even kill them. It's, it's the... Uh, the end of an era but a beginning of a new one. I think a lot of us are going from here with a sense that we need to uh, take the battle further. We need to encourage other uh, communities who are uh, fighting similar battles and we also need to um, get the message through to these politicians. So this is a place where we can come and we can set ourselves back up again on the camp. So. Um, this is probably a message to any mining companies that want to come into the Northern Rivers, let alone anywhere in New South Wales. We're prepared, we're ready, we can unpack very quickly. A little bit of deflation but overall great amount of joy and happiness because we made history.